Hi guys, do y'all remember the apartment tour I filmed about a month ago? It looked a little bit like this. Does that ring a bell? If not, I'll jog your memory. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I furnish that whole place while staying within a budget of $700. Yep, I said it, $700. I'm spilling all the tea about how I stayed within this budget, so keep watching. What's up everybody, my name is Corey Maria and I'm back at it again with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, I make college, lifestyle, and hair related content. So if y'all are interested in any of those topics, make sure you subscribe down below. But let's hop right into this. So today I'm going to be telling you guys how I furnish my apartment for cheap. And when I say cheap, I mean under $700. Now that's cheap. People spend thousands to furnish these apartments. And if you're somebody who's like me, you're a college student, you're literally not even going to be living there that long. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I stayed within a budget when decorating my college apartment. So some pieces of furniture that you guys will be seeing in this video, I either am reusing from my dorm room or I accumulated from working at home. And I will be sure to point those out, but those will not be calculated into the total of what I spent to furnish this apartment. So let's get into the breakdown of the rooms. So we're going to start with the kitchen. The first thing that I bought for my kitchen was a large kitchenware jar. And it was $10 at home goods. All of those like spatulas and stuff that are in that jar, I bought those all under $10 as well. The silverware, I've been using that since my dorm day. That's basically not contributing to the cost. That's zero dollars. I got those from my dad. So moving on to the appliances that I have on my counter. So I have a toaster oven, which I bought for $32 at Kohl's. And then I have a microwave that I've been using since my dorm days that I got for my sister. And then I have a Ninja blender that I got from my mom that she let me use this year. All right, we're going we gonna to let this braid chill right here, okay? Anyways, so below my sink, I have pots and pans that I purchased for $65 from Home Goods. The bins that I use to keep all of my cleaning products in, I've been using those since sophomore year of college. Those are no cost to me in moving into this apartment this year. So moving on to the mini bar and stool set. That was actually $95 and I got it from Home Depot. If you are looking for it or if you're interested in buying it, it is unfortunately discontinued at this point. Moving into the bedroom, let's move it, move it, move it. So the bedside table is something that I got from Let Go for $20. And you guys will hear about Let Go and Offer Up a lot through this video. So keep your ears peeled. I also got my bedside lamp, which was $25 from Let Go. Then I got my comforter, pillows, and shams from Home Goods as a set, which was $65. The bed was zero dollars because it came from my mom that's usually one of the more expensive pieces of the furniture that they go into a place so if you are interested in buying a bed or a mattress be sure to check let go or offer up because they do have new mattresses and beds on there that's a plug please use it as you will don't say i never told you anything but next up is the dresser i got that for zero dollars because i took it from my brother's room and i painted it white So both the side table and the dresser, I painted white myself. As you can see, they look pretty nice. They look pretty decent. And then we have the closet and the divider. That was actually the only piece of furniture that came with the place. So the rest I had to furnish myself. And then for this large picture board that I use every year, that cost me $0 to reuse that this year in this apartment. So now moving on to the living room or the den area. The TV stand that I have, it's actually right behind me. That actually cost $50 on let go. This TV right here is actually for my sister. She used it in college. I've been using this since my sophomore year of college. PS5 back here, y'all saw the video. Like that's not factored into the total cost. That's um completely separate. I didn't buy that for this apartment. And then the side table that I have beside my couch, that was actually $45 off of Facebook Marketplace. I have a large standing mirror was actually $90 and I got it from Home Goods. My couch was $75 and I got that from OfferUp. It was actually $100, but I managed to barter it down to $75. So yay for me. I took Pat there one time. 
The plant next to my mirror is actually $20 from Home Goods. Picture above the plant. It's like a picture of a plant was $15 from Home Goods. And then lastly, the cubicle and the bins within the cubicle were $0 because that was given to me by my mom. And I used my bins from freshman, sophomore, and junior year of college. So I'm just going to briefly touch on the office area. I bought all of this prior to coming here. I'm not going to include that in the cost of furnishing this place. The only thing that I did get for this place is the neon lightning bolt sign that rests above my desk. And that was $10 from Amazon. So in my bathroom, I have a bathroom rug set that was $35 from Amazon. I bought a toilet paper holder, which was $12 from Home Goods. And then the rolling cart that I have in there is actually reused. It's been in use since my freshman year of college. That was pretty much a boom, boom, boom rundown of all of the furniture that I have in here. As y'all can see, I used Let Go, Offer Up, Facebook Marketplace, Home Goods to furnish this apartment. I was not going to go over budget. I set this budget for myself at the beginning of the summer and I did not under any circumstances want to blow it. So with that, I'm going to go into some apartment hunting tips for anybody who might need them. So first is to set a budget. Set a budget of what you are willing to pay and what you are not willing to pay. Specify where you'd like to live and in places where you wouldn't like to live because you have to know your preferences to be able to narrow down your choices my second tip is to start hunting early especially in a college town you have to get on it early because everybody's looking for a place so i'm saying around the beginning of the school year start looking for your place for that next school year that's how early people start looking so get an early start and if you have a friend who is moving out of a place that you like keep your eye on that talk to the landlord you know make some arrangements so that you can be in there that next year um that's how you get really good places my third tip is to use websites such as Zillow, Apartments.com, ApartmentFinder.com, or any university provided housing finder tools that might be useful in helping you find places that you'd be interested in living. And my last tip would be to start thinking about things that you already have as opposed to things that you might still need to get. This is critical in saving you a lot of time and money in the future. If you have a layout of the place that you're moving into, make sure you're able to visualize where you want certain things to go, how you want it to be set up so that when you move right in, you're not wasting any time, any effort. You can just move your stuff in. You have everything that you need, nothing more, nothing less, and you're all good to go. But yeah, y'all, I hope that wasn't too quick. I hope I gave y'all the full rundown of everything that goes into my apartment. To stay within budget, I used a lot of secondhand things. I'm not a stranger to using secondhand items, not gently used secondhand items. I, I don't invest in like broke down stuff. If you are also in my shoes where you're moving into a place you don't want to spend that much money, offer up Facebook Marketplace. Offer up and let go have combined. So just use offer up Facebook Marketplace to find the things that you need. Like, it's amazing, y'all. It's crazy how much money I was able to save by going through those sites. Home Goods is awesome as well. I found a lot of stuff. Sorry, guys, my fan just came on in the back. But it's really good quality stuff. So, yeah, don't be afraid to just venture out, you know, negotiate with people. Use your resources to your advantage. I had a vision. I saw what I wanted in my apartment, and I went out and I got it. And I made it a comfortable, cute place for me to live in for the year. So, um, if you're in the same exact boat, I hope this video helps you kind of get some information on how to stay within a budget when you're decorating an apartment or when you're furnishing an apartment. Uh, I just wanted to get like my, my necessities that would help me make it through the year. And I think I did just that plus more. So if y'all have any questions for me, please leave them down in the comment section below. I look forward to talking to y'all down there. But that pretty much wraps up this video. Um, I thank y'all for watching, for tuning in and always supporting me. And I will see y'all in the next one. God bless.